Hello everyone, I'm writer coach Tony and I've not done a movie review in a very long time. So tonight I'm going to make several movie reviews to cover up every movie or TV show I've watched the past few months. I've been a miss. So my first movie review would be uh, Knock at the Cabin. So two weeks ago we watched um, that horror movie by M. Night Shyamalan. Um, we are horror fans, my brother and I. My brother is Michelle. He has videos also there. He's Michael, but we call him Michelle. Now you know why. And um, we, we, we watched the movie Knock at the Cabin. And I saw the trailer and I loved it. Um, unfortunately, among the movies of M. Night Shyamalan, it's not one of my favorites because okay there will be spoilers if you're still watching the movie please do not um, um, watch my review but if you if you want to know if it's worth watching and you know worth your time you can continue watching and unfortunately in my opinion it was um, a lot of people some people liked it but I didn't I did not like it uh, just, it's an end of the world thing and this family, this couple, gay couple with a kid um, they have to kill one in their family so that the world will not be punished so yeah that's the premise what would you do if you can save the world, what would you sacrifice and um, you know there are many religious zealots right now many crazy cuckoos peddling religions so if that happened to me I will not kill any of my family just to save the world no because because I'm not Jesus I'm not God the Father I'm not God the Holy Spirit I have no power at all but in the movie it seemed like the, they had the power, no? The uh, the four people who came to their house, who attacked them in their house, they said was the four horsemen down of the apocalypse. I don't know if there were only four. I think maraming horsemen ng apocalypse. Anyway, ayun. So it's a very um, the killing is violent. And there's actually no horror. I mean, it's horrifying because of what's happening, but there are no scares. I'm not, I wasn't scared. I wasn't tense at all. Um, actually, I just wanted the movie to be over because um, I wasn't really buying into that story where you have to kill your kid or your husband just to save the world. I mean, so much responsibility given to your family so anyway uh, i, I kind of did like that part um i don't know i'm not a writer but uh, there could have been a more interesting way of of putting that idea no? or putting a backstory to, to those things but anyway i'm still a fan of m night i still love your movies i watched old old is a bit better than this but yeah so but still my favorite is your sixth sense and then the village and then the happening you know so anyway um please continue to make horror movies um uh the lady in the water is actually one of my favorites also um so you know we'll still support your career we love your work it's just that sometimes it doesn't work for us sometimes we love it sometimes we don't love it so with that, I hope you enjoyed my movie review of M. Night Shyamalan's Knock at the Cabin. So my review is a bit bad. Um, but it's up to you. Now. If you really want to watch it, go. If you feel... Yeah, like what I felt like, oh, sayang. Waste of time. So anyway, yeah. So if you want to save your two hours, then there are many other better things to do. With the two hours so please um, follow in my in my um, 
YouTube channel, Writer Coach Tony. And please follow me in my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Facebook. Bye, everyone.